All right, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time coming. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but here we are, an actual recorded video. Uh, the reason there's been so few videos is because I'm on a DVD sabbatical, if you will, you know? Um, <clears throat> I'm, I haven't been playing DVD. I've been playing Hunt Show now, which has been a lot of fun. And a lot of other games and shit. And we beat Bloodborne, but I gotta record something for you guys. Otherwise, the channel's gonna go... So, welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Now, here's the thing. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this, but my plan right now is to start a series, kind of like a help, uh, a DVD help series, but mainly focusing on my favorite part of the game, totems, and where they spawn on each map. So would you like a deep dive each map, me kind of breaking down where the totems are on, you know, all the potential spawns, where to find them on the tiles on each and every map? Like a game map totem breakdown, Leary's map totem breakdown, um, uh, Midwich totem breakdown of the works, obviously. All of them. Is that something you guys would be interested in? You'd like to learn? Because uh, I feel like not a lot of creators have touched on that uh, as you know, one of the, uh, the learning points and how to, how to learn where totems are so you don't need to run totem finding perks. Uh, I can't remember them off the top of my head, but brr, uh, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, does that sound cool? Let me know. And don't forget to like the video as it helps get the video out uh, to the world and whatnot. And let's hope that we have a fun time in this game right now. Fingers crossed. It's been like a week since I've played DVD. I'm going to be a little rusty. We're jumping to Orman first. Not too shabby. I'm also still kind of getting into the groove of recording. Uh, I know I said I, I would put out YouTube videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And I've kind of been slacking on that. And I'm really sorry. This month has been fucking absurd and crazy and all over the place. But I promise you, I know I've said that. I promise you. I, real talk. Just, I, you know what? Instead of promise, I'll show you that there are more YouTube videos coming. Um, oh, my God. So let me talk about, you know, a little bit while we're playing here, the crazy shit. Because this is just going to be like a recap video with some fun DBD thrown in there. Um, if you like the merch, you can buy this merch. Boom. Link is going to appear right there, I think, with my wonderful editor popping merch link cool awesome new merch i'm also working on a plushie that in the next couple of weeks will be ready if you haven't ever make sure you stop by the twitch channel to get updates or join the discord as well uh where i chat with everybody and hang out after streams and whatnot in between days there uh but yeah new plushie coming out um finally first time ever i'm really excited it's going to be a pre-order we need to sell at least 300 of them so i'm excited and also terrified and hoping that we can sell that many anyways anywho let's dive in god it's been a minute what are my skills okay i gotta remember how to play this game i love the new parental guidance perk i'm so stoked about it it's been such a fun perk to in addition to my regular skill uh, kit set or perk set or whatever you know inner strength head-on decisive strike and now parental guidance has kind of replaced plunderers as much as i love getting pink keys every a single game uh being able to completely lose kill Ooh, we got a doctor in play being able to completely lose killers has been really really fun for me um and i've been enjoying that anyways um god i'm gonna be so rusty here <sighs> all right so what i say new plushie now i'm just getting over the worst hangover of my life ladies and gentlemen i am 27 years old now and holy shit i finally had a proper hangover i'm no longer free i'm like i used to brag to everybody like <laughs> i'm 25 i'm 26. i'm never gonna hang over oh i got one now obviously rookie mistakes i had tequila i had jaeger bombs i had rum i had vodka i had all sorts of mixed shit that was my bad all right so here we go let me just show you you know this is where a token spawns on ormond almost every time this specific uh tile here uh, I want to call this the jungle gym, I think is what it's called. But you've got that middle uh, window and whatnot. You've got like, usually there's like three lockers. One, two, three, bam here. So almost always there'll be a totem spawn right there in this little crevice. Now, if it's not there, another potential spawn it could be is right around here in this tile. But because totems are never right, if you find a totem right here, you're not going to find it in the tile to the left or the right of it. This is also a potential spawn in the little box here another totem spawn always always there's usually two hills on the map if there's hills 
these hill tiles. There's going to be a totem spawn right here. Now, I am so sorry. Somebody was like, oh, my God. I feel so bad for his teammates. Oh, my God. He's running around, fucking around, and his team's not getting in. You know, they're, they're failing. All right, listen. I do most of the work these games, all right? So I deserve a little bit of being able to showcase what's going on in games sometimes, okay? I'm usually the hard carry. Cut me some slack. Also, I had some moron actually say that... Oh my god, I can't stand the way this guy plays. He must be playing with subs and kill your friends because... Oh, there's no way that these killers are let him go like this. I'm like, well, first off, no one lets me go. I out-loop them, okay? <laughs> Secondly, imagine thinking my lame ass... Yo, plays kill your friends. I do on Sundays, but usually those don't make it to videos because I'm more goofing around having fun with my audience. Um, but no, I don't do kill your friend lobbies to make content. That's embarrassing and silly. Um, all right, let's see here. I'll do a more in-depth like breakdown of where the totem spawns. If you guys really want to see these videos, let again let me know in the comments. You know, make your voice heard here. And of course, my second reminder, don't forget to like the video if you're having a good time. Now, I'm gonna get this gen to like halfway. That'll be enough help for my team. Then I'm gonna go fuck around with the killer here because I know you guys like seeing my goofy toxicity. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, now that we've got his attention, oh, we really got his attention. I might be in trouble here. And there's no pallet. I'm really gonna be in trouble. So anyways, I'm really good at this game, and uh, you should tell your friends about how awesome I am, and that they should come watch my content. Is that the dungeon? Please tell me that's not the dungeon. That's the fucking dungeon. Okay. Please take me to the back. No! Okay, that's fine, too. I don't care. Run! He's gonna shoot! Oh, my God. Well, this is fine. I wanted to showcase, you know, the... From the bottom, now we're here, play through. Yeah! Uh. Um, oh my god, anyway, so yeah, I'm finally recovering from this hangover. I got a little bit more energy in my pep in my step now, which is nice. Uh, we just finished our hardcore, ultimate hardcore survivor playthrough on the Twitch channel. Um, and uh, it's always hard to make that into YouTube videos, so I'm sorry some of you have probably never seen our playthroughs of those. But basically, I let you guys fuck around with these programs, one of them called Dixfer, that allows you to mess with my game, make me run in circles, or drop my items, or just stop moving entirely. Uh, so now we're gonna heal up real quick, because that's always a good idea. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so the goal was I had to make it the whole week, seven days, without losing every single one of my characters. Because they all only get one life. And they each have their own unique perk set. No one perk set is going to be the same. Now, anyways, moving on from that. It was really fun. I failed horribly. And as punishment, of course, I had to get my armpits waxed. All right, now we've got his attention. I'm running in the shit. Yeah, I'm a little rusty, okay? But you know what? I'm not rusty yet. The double bam bam, motherfucker! And I'm with the one bam. And then, but wait, there's more. Cause this big bad mammy jam has got the double bam bam going on, motherfucker! Uh oh. <laughs> and we lost him. Why? Because parental guidance makes it. So that he doesn't see my scratch marks, my blood, or my grunts of pain for a solid seven seconds after setting him. I love this shit. I love it. Now, I know it's not practical going for the uh, DS stun, which is five seconds into the uh, headlong stun, which is only three. But it's more fun that way. It is. It's more fun that way. What can I say? Can I get a butt touch, please? You are awesome. Thank you. Oh, please don't. Is she going for the shot? Oh, she's not going for the shot. Okay. So, I always like to make sure I get the, uh, the totems here as best as I can. Because you never know. But first, we'll get that save here because we can't leave our teammates behind. Oh, hey. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. I don't know why she hasn't recovered yet, but... Hmm... All right, it's another gen done. Now he's gonna... Hmm, does he see me? There's no way. But he is gonna shock the fuck out of me, though. Oh, that's not good. Well, as long as we bring it... 
we can run him a little bit. I was hoping we would. Oh, well. Honestly, when I was doing this hardcore challenge, I learned how much I love uh, not only Kindred, but what's that perk that literally shows you the killer when you do gens? Oh, uh, is it? No, it's not Deja Vu. Um, but it's another, like, eyeball sightseeing perk. It's really good, especially when you're trying to stay the fuck away from the killer. So when we go for our world record attempt, because our next big DVD challenge we're going to do is the... Solo escapes in a row world record attempt. It's currently held by, I think, the YouTuber Aaron at 35 escapes. Right now, we're looking to... We got to... Oh, you gotta be shitting me right now. Oh, mama! Oh, mama, hey, mama. Hey, mama, oh, mama. Um... Uh, we got the 32. Oh! <laughs> Which is not too shabby, mind you, but we were just four shy of beating the record. We used to hold it at like 16. All right, we're gonna waste that. Oh, that's embarrassing. I just wanna give him a free swing. And that will get us to crazy pants. All right, well, the gens are done. I'm not the most, you know, what do you wanna call it? Oh, let's, how much you guys wanna bet no it's in play? Oh, it's not that locker, or not locker, but totem. So maybe it's, maybe it's not. Because we got... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did I really go crazy? Okay. No, I can still open the escapes. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. No, he's probably targeting the... Uh, you. Uh, what's... Oh, my God. I can't remember her name. Young Jin... Young Jin Lee. Young, not you. Okay. Young Jin Lee. Yep. Yep, we see that shit coming. All right, let's get the crazy off. Bada boom, bada bing, baby. Noise. And Yunjin Lee is down for the count. That sucks. Oh boy. Let's find out. Blood Warden? No, Blood Warden. Oh, thank God. Well, you can't win them all. I'm sorry, Yunjin Lee. Talk to for now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I love a little squat communication. This is fun. Fun times, fun times. Well, that wasn't terrible first game in like nine days. Yeah, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't awful. It was a good way to talk to you guys and get caught up to speed here. Now, I know you guys like seeing the end game chat. Usually, if you couldn't tell, there's a lot of um, console players, so most of the time, nobody ever fucking talks. Uh, so it's not like you're missing out or I'm cutting off the end game discussion, there's just nine times out of 10 isn't any. And if it is, it's just GG's, fuck you. Okay, have a nice day. Which I guess something you want to see, who knows. I also don't like sitting here and waiting for shit like this. Like, just get the fuck out already, come on now. Come on. Oh, is that a knight's helmet? That's dope as hell, what? Where, where, where did that come from? Oh, that was the For Honor crossover, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's a For Honor helmet. Okay. Oh. D are you really gonna wait it out? Are you really? Is it really this necessary to get the last tea bag in? Really? Even I wouldn't go this low. Oh my god. Okay, GG's. I know, right? Waiting that long. Shameless. Shameless. Anyways, on to the next. Okay, and we're back just in time for another round of Dead by Daylight. I uh, this will probably be the second video or second game in the video that I will be posting momentarily. <laughs> but hey, how are you? So what I'm thinking here um, is I'll give you a little bit of a taste of what you can expect. Again, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this kind of like you know teaching uh, series. Like DVD 101 
learning where totems are on every map kind of situation. Ooh, okay, so pfft. honestly, I'll give you a little bit. I'll give you like one or two spawns with both of these. Um, and then you can like, oh, this is interesting. I didn't know those existed. Hey, Moxie, I'd love to see more of that. And that would be awesome. Anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, uh, what do you guys think of this mid-chapter update? And also, what do you think of the state of DVD these days? The player base has been just declining like mad. Do you guys even really play DVD anymore? Or are you in that group that's growing massively that's like, you know, Mogs, I hate DVD. I don't like playing it. But you make it really fun to watch, and that's why I'm here. I like watching other people play it because I can't have fun with it anymore. Which is so sad to hear, but also so heartwarming, too. Because it's like, I wish you could enjoy the game like I do. But I really appreciate that you're watching me to have that fun that you can't have. Uh, live vicariously through me. It's really adorable. I'm really fucking stoked for the mid-chapter update, though. I, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm so freaking excited here, man. Uh, we got that huge update. The Haddonfield map looks amazing. If you hadn't already seen that video, it's a couple of vids back. Um... So, Midwitch. All right, let's get a gen done. First things first, just to set a little bit of pressure on this killer here as best we can. And then we'll go from there, shall we? we just power through these gray skill checks like it's going out of style, baby. Lock them in. Uh-oh. Is this another doctor? It sounds like another doctor. You're kidding me right now. On this map? Oh, boy. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it totally is. What's with all the doctor spamming? I, you know, this is probably my least favorite killer. You guys always ask me what killer do I hate. I don't really hate any killer. Oh, you shut up a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hit it with that blind blind. <laughs> all right, so Lance. He's gonna come this way, so we're gonna. Oh, he already knows, doesn't he? Does he know? Wait, what? Oh. Homie, I'm over here. Oh, 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 sir. Ah, yeah, I'm over here, motherfucker. Howdy doody. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He locked those in. I couldn't line of sight him either. God, that reminds me on another topic. What I wouldn't give to see first person mode in this game. I feel like a, a couple of the content creators are finally starting to s share my opinions on how great this game would be if first person mode got added. Oh my God, could you imagine how scary? This is a horror game, no? What's scary about being able to look behind a fuck over a boulder or around a, you know, uh, a wall or something to see the killer coming from a mile away? I don't know, nothing, nothing. But add a little bit of tense, anxious gameplay to the game that really is kind of a snooze test. Unless you're actively looking to get chased by the killer, which honestly I try to do these days. More fun that way. All right, let me get away from the start here. Thank you. Let's get that instant heal here. Let me try to find you guys a couple totem spawns, all right? And we have that gen on the other side of the map. Yeah. Oh, I just got rid of my DS. Oh, well, I like to live dangerously. So this one, this specific map is a little difficult because there's a lot of locker spawns. So it's not really, this game isn't based on tiles. That being said, there is a pretty common totem spawn that's gonna be right here. We didn't get that lucky this time around, unfortunately. Okay. But it usually will spawn like right here, right before this drop off. Now, if it's not there, odds are it's gonna be in some of these lockers here or behind the lockers itself. Oh, or usually in the, uh, I wanna say the music room. So when you're in the music room, it's in this back corner right here. Now he's got Thrill of the Hunt going on, which is gonna make this a little bit difficult. I'm just hoping that he can't get all the way upstairs to me as fast as he's like. God, this is so slow, yeesh. There's no phanophobia. Oh, please don't shock. Oh my God. Come on, come on. So, got it, just in time. Got it, right as he shocked me too, this little bugger. Now, I'm willing to bet, no, he's chasing somebody else. 
which means we'll shake our crazy here and go for the save. But music, so again, music room in that back corner there. Now, we do have to do a little bit of gen duty here because it looks like our, the rest of our team's kind of struggling. But we'll try to get this gen done as fast as possible, hit all those great skill checks, and then we'll move on to our next bit of fun. Oh my god, he's shocking the heck out of him, isn't he? Yeesh! Now, what's a little cool tidbit about me and my life, if you're looking for a life update from the mods here, um, I am starting to become a real estate agent. I'm finally trying to learn and uh, get my license for real estate, because I've always wanted to not only invest in real estate, as everybody wants to do, it's a sound idea, but I think with my charismatic personality, I know. Wow, so humble. No, I think I'm pretty good at being fun. And so I feel like that would translate really well into a real world skill like selling houses. Uh, I think that'd be a good time. And I think I'd be pretty decent at it. I could, you know, botch it horribly or suck at it. But, you know, I think, I think I'd be pretty all right. So I'm gonna try studying and learning that and, um, you know, seeing if I have what it takes to sell houses. I think it'd be fun. All right, we got the gen. Let's go get that save. Nope, they already got the save. Okay, let's go somewhere else. But so I got my course. I've been wanting to do this for like two years now. <clears throat> but I, I've continually been making excuses after excuses after excuses. But I finally pulled the trigger, bought the course. It's like 250 bucks. So it's like, well, I can't waste this money. So I have to learn. Oh my God, am I being chased? I am being chased. Oh. I would get stuck in. What the? No. If you'll excuse my, pardon my French. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think I was going to be right in front of your face? Another reason I love parental guidance. I just blinded his ass. And he has no idea where I am. Hello. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you there. Bye bye now. Ta ta. Oh, fuck. No, he definitely knows where I am now. Oh, my God. I got to shave my face, too. Oh. Sir, you know I can just keep... I'll just keep looping your ass. You know I'll just keep this up, right? Like, I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over and over again. You, you know, right? Like, I can just keep going, right? The party don't stop till I walk in, baby. Oh, I can't flashlight him. Uh oh. Okay, this could get ugly. Okay, he's still very much coming to try to kill me right now. Which is not ideal. But we only got one gen to go. Now he's gonna probably. Oh, make that zero gen to go. Dude, ah! come through. I'm sorry, but the princess is in another castle at this point in time. Goodbye now. Stop talking for now. <gasps> oh, all the buffs. Loving it. Loving it. Does he still see me? I'm gonna pray that he does. Did he lose me? No fucking way. That wasn't too shit. Oh. He's got infectious, right? Fair. Oh, he's got, oh, he's looking too. Now the good, oh, he does have no edge. Oh, that's very bad. So. What he doesn't know is we've got this boon per going on. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Now the game plan here is to go down in a place where we can pick ourselves back because he's going for the 4K slug. Understandable. 
we'll try to lose him here. He's right behind us. Now he's going straight across. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Ah. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna go if you don't mind. <laughs> Excuse me while I freely run away. <laughs> now this is pod racing. And also what I missed about DVD. Giving this poor doctor the business. Did we get those doors open? Okay, so bad news first. We really haven't. Ouch! Bad news part two! Nobody's done anything! Oh, that's not good. Tell me you got this door open. You didn't. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's, co that's kosher. Yeah, that's great. Oh, great. Okay. Bad news. Can't rely on your team for shit. Good news. No, no, Ed. So, unless he face camps me and my team's a bunch of pussies. Although none of them been hooked. So, hopefully they shouldn't be a bunch of pussies. Oh. Hey, guys. You know the survivor that just ran the killer the entirety of the match so that you guys can get things done? Do you? Maybe you wanna save him? Pretty please. If you're feeling generous. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. You oh, I don't know, guys. Just maybe. Oh, I love you. Oh, he really just doesn't want to let me go. Oh, he really don't want to let me go. Oh, he really don't love Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Boom, Shacklander. <laughs> I'm not toxic. I'm wholesome. <sighs> well, that was a fun game. An incredibly fun game. I hope you guys have enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed our talk, our discussion, and the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you smash that like button. Share this video with your friends if you think they'd enjoy this ridiculous content. Leave a comment on all the things we talked about below, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Toodles.